In this video, I want to complete our discussion of the differences between first differences estimators and fixed effects estimators. And it turns out in the circumstances where t is much greater than n, so n here in this circumstance is quite small, it turns out in these circumstances that fixed effects estimators are quite sensitive. So what do I mean that they are quite sensitive? Well, I mean that they are quite sensitive to any violation of the assumptions which would be required for it to be a uh, for it to produce consistent and unbiased estimates. One particularly important thing to watch out for is that if we're including a explanatory variable xit, which is itself non-stationary, so it looks like it has a unit root, then if we use fixed effects, then we could be regressing non-stationary variables on other non-stationary variables. So fixed effects runs the or could potentially run into the issue very likely of having a spurious regression and in those circumstances where we are dealing with processes which could be unit roots we are much better off using first differences because if the process has a unit root or if it technically is i1 when i take the first difference of that process that is now a stationary process so we, in theory, shouldn't be running into the issue of spurious regression if we use first differences. Another circumstance could be if t is very large. In those circumstances when t is very large and forgetting about n, it turns out that fixed effects is less sensitive than first differences. In particular, in particular first differences is less sensitive than first differences in regard to the strict exogeneity assumption. So this is the assumption that the idiosyncratic error UIT was uncorrelated with the value of any of the explanatory variables at some other period S, which doesn't necessarily have to be equal to T. It turns out that fixed effects is more robust to violations of this strict exogeneity assumption than first differences. So although it looks a little bit contradictory with what I've written here, fixed effects, if, if t is much greater than n and n is small, fixed effects are quite sensitive. In particular, fixed effects are quite sensitive to the case where we have potentially having a unit root in some of our variables. In circumstances where t is large, for fixed effects are less sensitive than first differences in regard to the strict exogeneity assumption. So we're better off in those circumstances using fixed effects. Frequently it will be the case that if you look at the estimates from fixed effects and they turn out to be different to the estimates which are produced from first differences, then what we should actually do is report both of these two results in our output. And then what we should do is, in theory, look for why there might be these differences between these two particular estimators. But there's no particular hard and fast rule as to when we should use fixed effects over first differences, although I hope that the last few videos have helped to summarise the circumstances where it might be better to use one over the other.